All right, so hi, good people. Life according to D here. Well, Dominique from Life According to D, and I'm back with another grocery haul. This will probably be my last large grocery haul. Uh, moving forward, I'll probably be doing grocery hauls for every two weeks of shopping. Um, I've considered changing it a while ago, but I considered either doing a full month or once a week. I just don't have time for once a week, so we'll try to do every two weeks next month, and we'll see how that goes financially and time-wise, but I got everything done today, Thursday. It is my first day of fall break, and it's the fourth day of fall break for my kids so i was able to get a lot done today so we did walmart thing that i got from aldi as well so we'll do these separate the only other store that i know i need to go to is sam's there won't be a ton of things from sam's so real quick here we go because i'm tired so starting off with some meat i got is this a stew meat okay so i got one pack of stew meat from walmart but i got one pack of sirloin tip thin that's for pepper steak this is the first time i've ever tried one of these kits period um, but much less a pork roast. So I got a pork roast because I got a good bit of beef. I decided to go with the pork roast with the vegetables. So it's red potatoes, carrots, and like two small pieces of celery. And then it's like um, a large onion in there. So that is the meat um, that I got from Walmart. Moving on to some sauces. I needed more salsa verde or Big Bob Gibson's white sauce. I put this on my loaded potatoes. Uh, I needed some more hoisin sauce, garlic. I only needed two seasonings, which is really good. So I only needed basil leaves and paprika. I have some salted sweet cream butter, great value brand, and that comes with four sticks. I have four sticks of the blue bonnet and margarine, a two pack of great value cream cheese, one, oh, oh geez. One pack of the strawberry applesauce, again, Cadence's favorite. Canned items, I got quite a few because I kind of needed to restock, especially on my tomatoes. So I got two cans of the, two cans of the petite diced tomatoes. I got two cans of chili beans because I will be making chili. I got one can of the dice with green pepper, celery, great value. Two cans of the Libby brand cream style corn. I tried the Great Value cream style corn last month and I did not like it at all. So hopefully Libby is better. Two cans of the Chili Ready, Chili Ready tomatoes for my chili. I got three cans of cream of mushroom, cholesterol free, low fat. Two cans, oh no, wait, wait a minute. So I got four cans of cream of mushroom. I didn't mean to get four, I thought I got three apparently I got one can of great value red beans one can of cream of chicken and don't mind all the noise in the background I told you the kids are on fall break so they're here and I have my nieces I got one can of cannellini beans okay that's my other can of chili beans um, I got two cans of the regular diced tomatoes with green chilies, which is basically um, Rotel. And I only got one smaller can of the savory brown sugar hickory baked beans because I already have a can up there. I got three cans of golden sweet whole kernel corn, two cans of the chunk white tuna and water, great value brand. I got one can of the double Q pink salmon. My man and I like salmon croquettes a lot. Um, well, we like them a lot, but we only eat them whenever we don't have kids, which is very rare. So that may stay in there all month. <laughs> I got two boxes of the vegetarian Jiffy corn muffin mix. I got one jar of the medium thick and chunky salsa. Um, one large bottle of vegetable oil for frying and such. Um, one pack of, 12 pack of the waffle cones. These are uh, requested by Gabby. Um, for her birthday Sunday. So her birthday was yesterday. Um, this is the next day, but they're sleeping over tonight, so we'll make Sundays again. To go with those Sundays, I got some cookies and cream ice cream, um, and then regular vanilla ice cream. Don't mind that. Um, Gabby and I are going to share this shrimp and avocado sushi roll, and that's just the frozen kind. You can throw it in the microwave, in water, and on the counter. Caramel dip. It's that time, y'all. It's fall, y'all. So I got some caramel dip. Got a bag of onions because I think I'm down to like one onion. Um, a container of the Dean's French onion dip. 
one pack of the flour tortillas fajitas. I got two packs of this butterscotch pudding, two packs of the vanilla pudding, and they're both great value, and they're both amazing. I absolutely love them, and they're only 88 cent a pack. Two bags of the Iceberg Classic Iceberg Salad. Um, I have this and I just kind of get addicted to it. It's really, really, I like the bite and the crunch and everything. I got two separate smaller bags because hopefully it'll help me keep it fresher longer. I got one bag of the Microsoft Fresh Finish and I will sometimes mix that with the Iceberg Salad Mix. These Baby Bella Mushrooms, they're already sliced. One pack of crinkle cut carrots, great value, and that's the frozen kind that you can microwave or cook in the pot. Pack of this great value, corn on a cob. One pack of great value seasoned french fried potatoes, also known as french fries. One pack of the southern um, hash browns, that was a great value brand as well. Two packs of the great value uh, green beans, and that's the same either the microwave or on the pot. Um, I got a gumbo mix, is that a Ren's gumbo mix? This is the only one that I've ever used. I wanted to try the little bases that they have, but I'm just not brave enough yet. So I got the Zetarin's gumbo mix because it is that time for soups and stews. I got a large bag, um, and this is eight pounds of the jumbo baking potatoes because I am making loaded potatoes this month, soon and very soon. Um, I got a bag of these sausage balls, Tennessee Pride. Y'all, they take, they taste so amazing. There's only 24 in here. I feel like even if I make homemade sausage balls, it's never enough because sausage balls are the business. So this will be a treat when I need something nice and heavy, um, but hopefully I'll be going to work it off. Um, got just a mustard, French's mustard. Um, some extra creamy daily whipped cream topping, great value brand for our Sundays as well. Another jar of maraschino cherries for our Sundays, great value as well. A block of low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese, great value. Um, I got a lot of seasoning packets. I got four of the taco seasonings again. Four of the taco seasonings again. Um, I got two of the great value Italian seasonings again. Kayla's really loved this. I made a pasta salad, which basically just consisted of, oh, excuse me, spaghetti, um, bacon, and this seasoning mix. She like killed it. She loved it a lot. So I got two of the ranch seasoning packets. I got two of the chili seasoning mixes, because again, I'm making chili. Jackson got his Purity Lemonade again, of course. They only had, literally had two containers of it. This Walmart I went to, it normally sucks, but today it sucked 10 times more than it ever has. So I got the Purity Lemonade. Um, Gabby picked out this Fanta, I asked her what drink she wanted, and this is what she picked, so I'll put that in the freezer as soon as possible. So it can be nice and cold for the kids tonight. A Zatarain's yellow rice because we recently bought some white rice because we needed it like ASAP. So that's the only other rice we're going to use right now. I got another pack of the Mild 26 Slim Jim sticks and these are the short Slim Jim. Another, well y'all never saw this because this is what we used for our Sundays last time. So I got another box of Cosmic Brownies. These things are so rich and decadent. You should only eat them if you're really craving something sweet. It's not like a quick sweet snack. Like you need it if you're really craving because it's so rich, but they are so good. I absolutely love them. On to a few snacks. I got some of these Ritz. I know I said I wouldn't buy them for a while, but it has been a while since they had the salmonella outbreak. So we're gonna try these everything crackers with the cream cheese in the middle. I got Katniss another pack of the PB&J toasty cracker sandwiches. First time trying this Natural Bliss Salted Caramel Flavor Creamer. So wish me luck. I got some more Great Value Original Creamer. That's the powder. This is all reliable, so I always get it. In addition to, you know, if I'm splurging a flavored creamer. Um, this, $18.50. So Folgers, I think this is a Folgers product because their commercial got me. Folgers, you did a good job on the commercial. This made, the commercial made me want to try this. It's, um, I think Folgers was founded in 1850. Yeah, it is Folgers. Yeah, and I got the Trailblazer, which is medium dark roast coffee, rich and caramelized. So I think I like this. I'm excited to try it.
Um, I have one red bell pepper, one bag of the Italian green beans, the Pig Sweet Farms again. I got one bag of frozen great value cauliflower, which you can again can microwave or put in the pot. I got one pack of green onions. We are just about out. We did good. That didn't go bad. I got one bag of the sweet peas. I got one small pick sweet farms cut okra for the um for the gumbo. And I'm glad I found this little bag because I always have a lot of leftover okra, but I don't make gumbo that often, so it goes to waste. So this should be enough for the gumbo. One um thing of the Taipei vegetable egg rolls. I don't think I normally get this brand, but I can't remember. Last time I got some egg rolls, they were delicious. So hopefully this is the brand I got last time. I got some of the Innovation Sticky White Rice. Some of the Innovations General South Chicken. And I'm so disappointed. I went specifically for the Innovations Lemon Chicken. It was new, but they didn't have it at this Walmart, of course. Because they literally didn't even have milk for real. So I just got the Generals, and this is the family size. Um, I'm going to go to another Walmart to get my eggs anyway, so hopefully they have my lemon chicken. I got a pack of the cute Monterey Jack cheese. Jackson absolutely loves these. He can eat almost this whole bag in a day if I let him. I got a pack of this raw large Argentinian red shrimp. I've never had this before, but it is peeled and tail off, so I love it. Another pack of the oldest but goodies, the great value turkey sausage patties. Jackson has to have them. He has to have them. I got some great value orange juice because we'll probably do breakfast tomorrow or I don't know about Saturday. Probably Saturday too. Um, I got a little pack of great value wheat bread with honey. Some more zesty ranch straws, veggie straws. I haven't gotten those in a little bit. These ruffles are party size, but the kids already opened them and they're supposed to go with the French onion dip. But it looks like they're going to be gone soon. But we got some more plain chips up there in the cabinet. Um, Gabby also picked out these for her birthday sleepover, which is a spicy sweet chili Doritos. I got two this time. I got two of the Caesar croutons. I absolutely love these croutons. I've been addicted to the Caesar salads lately. That's what that lettuce is for. I still got my Parmesan and I still got my dressing, but I will literally put this in any salad I eat. The Caesar croutons are the best. And I have a pack of noodles. I get noodles every single time. They are a staple in this household. Absolutely. This time it was chicken. Last time it was beef. I got one more tube of the pizza crust. We'll try this for our homemade pizzas this time. And, yep, that is it from Walmart, friends. We're moving on to Aldi really quick because I'm All so right, Aldi. So, Aldi had a lot of my stuff, my snacky stuff. I like the prices of the, most of their snacky stuff. Um, I like the prices of their dairy products and stuff like that. So, my vegetables, a lot of my first vegetables and the little bit of fruit I got came from Aldi. That's usually how I do it. Um, cause the prices are the best. You just got to catch them when the vegetables and the fruit are good. So that's why I took a break for a while. Cause for a while there, it wasn't good. So let's go ahead and get this started. First time I've gotten any canned products from Aldi and I'm getting, I'm using the crushed pineapples, pear slices. I got some cream of celery. I got three cans of cream of celery. I'm using a uh, Kristen Steps recipe that she recently used for her cheesy potato soup. So that's why I got cream of celery. Walmart did not have any in great value brand and I just wasn't gonna pay almost two dollars for one small can of cream of celery. First time I've used this from there and it is some pesto sauce. What is that, Priano pesto sauce? I've never tried their Alfredo sauce, so I'm trying the creamy Alfredo sauce. I'll probably mix some of the pesto sauce in it. To go with that, I got some of the Priano Tricolor 3 Cheese Tortellini. I thought the Tricolor was just cute. <laughs> I got some low-fat cottage cheese, and that's what I'll be using the crushed pineapples or the pears for. The cottage cheese and the fruit will be a snack. I really, really love it together. I didn't even look at the curd that I got. Okay, a small curd. I guess I can do that. Um, I got some of the Fit Active Vanilla Yogurt so the kids can do parfaits again. Sour cream. Can't beat that price. 99 cent, I think. Um, I got a bag of steamed vegetables because I forgot to get them from Walmart for my beef stew. 
first time I've gotten meat from Aldi and I decided to get some salmon I've been wanting salmon for a really long time but it really has not been in the grocery budget I'll try to please everybody's palates when I go grocery shopping which can be really really hard sometimes but I think I do all right um Walmart had no fresh salmon period and then the frozen salmon they had was ridiculously priced so I went to Aldi, took a chance, and I think it's going to be good. So, this will be good meal prep. I've been wanting salmon for so long, y'all. Then, I've never gotten this before anywhere, um, but it was under $5. And I know for these cuts of meat, that's extremely cheap. It has a good shelf life. So, we're going to try it. I got the Gourmet Deli Selection. It is pepper salami, hot capicola, and hot calab. I don't know what that one is. I don't know how to pronounce that last one. And I'm not even going to try. <laughs> but I can't wait to try that on some sandwiches or with some crackers and cheese. I got more of those pastry strips. The Millville. Pastry strips. Pastry crisp. The Millville. And I got blueberry. I got some of the Millville fruit and grain cereal bars. The um, cinnamon graham crackers. I love cinnamon graham crackers. I'm literally addicted. Oatmeal chewy bars and it's a variety pack. Cadence loves the oatmeal raisin. Unfortunately, that has the least in the box. Well, one of the least in the box. And they don't sell the oatmeal raisin separate. It's my favorite too. But variety pack is a good way to go because I get worn out on chocolate chip. So I got a pack of the spicy guacamole. Walmart did not have my Oh, bless me. Walmart did not have my market side um, little snack pack. I just got the spicy, um, and this is two packs in here. This guacamole is really good. It's nice and thick and chunky like I like it. Really flavorful, and it adds a lot of flavor to your food. Um, I got some more dry mixed berries because I am doing a lot of salads. Um, I have some lactose-free reduced fat milk. Walmart, like I said, didn't have any milk unless it was a gallon. We don't drink anywhere near a gallon of milk a month, no matter what I'm doing, even in the holidays. So, I just waited it out. Um, they didn't have the 1% that I wanted in regular milk, so I was like, let's just get the lactose-free. It's a much more competitive price than Walmart's lactose-free anyway. And I'm sorry about Jackson. He's sleepy. This is really hard for me these are addictive if you don't want to be addicted don't try it if you don't mind having a little addiction try it the fudge mint cookies they're amazing secret is put them in the refrigerator put them in the refrigerator or the freezer even try to keep them cold just take a couple out of time to eat them try to keep them cold and i mean it's the most refreshing decadent crispy treat <laughs> you will ever have so try these and they're like 90 something cents um i got a bag of sweet potatoes like sweet potatoes i think a lot of times are overpriced but this is a smaller well the bag isn't smaller but it's a the potatoes themselves are smaller so hopefully i'll do a lot more with sweet potatoes i'm trying to really really get myself together diet wise um to hopefully encourage me even more to work out I got a bag um, of the fresh asparagus. I haven't had that in a while. And um, Walmart's was like almost $3 a pound. So, yes, baby. I got two packs of the bagels. I'll probably freeze one. I got the two packs because I'm just talking about losing right weight, right? <laughs> but I got two packs because I wanted to try the pumpkin spice. They're limited edition. You know, it's that time of the month or year. Um, but I know the blueberries are good, so we'll try these. Hopefully they're good. Just in case they weren't good, I got the blueberries. And like I said, we'll probably, maybe I'll take a few out of each pack and freeze the other half. And we'll do it like that. Um, I got a pack of fresh zucchini. This is the brand, I don't know if y'all remember on the last haul, I was telling y'all I realized that Walmart carries this brand in their store for a lot of their top shelf vegetables. This is the same exact thing. Like packaging is the same and everything. So I got these fresh zucchinis and I think this has like three large zucchinis in them. So I'm excited about that. I love zucchini. I got a French cute, is this a French? I got a cucumber. I don't know if it's French or Italian, but I got a cucumber. <laughs> I got some more pretzels. I think we're just about out. 
I got Jackson. I got Jackson some of these favorites, uh, penguin baked cheese crackers. He's a snacker. He really doesn't eat much food. Um, he eats a lot of noodles and a lot of snacks, and he'll eat cheeseburgers from McDonald's and sometimes Wendy's, but he really likes McDonald's cheeseburgers. Just a regular old cheeseburger. But he's like the only one that loves McDonald's like that. I got a pack of oranges. I didn't get the cuties or the mandarins um, because I want to switch it up. And the ones at Aldi, the mandarin oranges at Aldi were very tiny, so I didn't trust them. Uh, I got a bag of green or Granny Smith apples. That's going to go perfect with the caramel dip. I got a pack of green bell peppers. They are quite small, but they're realistic. I like it. I don't feel like anything will go to waste. And this is that same brand, guys, that they have some of this stuff at Walmart. And I like how they adjust their packaging based on the size of the, the harvest. So, usually, these bell peppers will be like this big, this much bigger. Three large green bell peppers. And the bag will be a lot bigger. It will be like this size. Cause the peppers are so big but these are a lot smaller so look there's barely any room in the back it just makes sense that's part of how aldi can keep their costs down no wasted packaging um i got a pack of celery i'll probably throw some of this extra celery in my little crock pot pot roast thing i got over there because they literally gave me two inches of celery with all those potatoes and all those carrots and this will be go back to Cadence's vegetable for lunch. Cucumber. We're back on some vegetables for lunch because she will start her lunch videos back up on Monday. And then I got a pack of these um, grapes. The black grapes. Walmart's grapes, both of them, they left a disgusting taste in my mouth. I don't know what it was. It was like an aftertaste. They were kind of sweet, but the aftertaste was horrible. So these are pretty good. And that's it. That's all I got from Aldi. Now I gotta put all this stuff up. Aldi stuff, Walmart stuff. Then I have to put my file tablescape back down because I had a really cute tablescape. I'll show y'all when I put it back down. But I feel like poo. I feel like really, really bad. So I'm about to put this stuff up. Um, I'm putting up the cold stuff and the freezer stuff. The rest of the stuff is gonna stay until I wake back up. Because I need to get some rest. I just... I feel faint. I feel like I'm about to faint all day long. So, that's all. I'm talk to y'all when I go to Sam's. See you in the next clip. And I have three of these 45 pack purified members mark waters, but y'all know I'm not taking them inside the house. So I'm gonna give you a different type of view today. All right, good people, this is the, hold on. Okay, so this is the last of the haul, and this is Sam's. If you notice behind here, I do have my fall tablescape out. I never showed y'all this, but, oh, excuse me, this is what the table looks like for fall. Um, at night, it's really pretty because I have the candles lit, and those are, I think they're pumpkin pie or something like that. I'll have to look them up and see what the fragrance is. But yeah, this is what I put together. I think it's kind of cute. Um, anyway, the focus was the haul. So, from Sam's, let me tell you, I'm so sad. They did not have the Members Mark apple juice. I have no clue why. I don't see how you could run out of things that are your brand, like your trucks. If anyone's trucks are reliable, should be your own companies. But apparently not, because they had no Members Mark apple juice. So, I don't know what I'm going to do for Jackson, but I'll figure it out. Um, I went and took Nadia to get her glasses adjusted because they were too big. Um, after I did that, I ran to Sam's. And I'm getting, I'm using the Pacific Cooler, Mountain Cooler, and Splash Cooler Capri Sons. They have, what, 35% less sugar than the normal uh, makeup of Capri Sons. So we're going to try these flavors just to mix it up. And this is 40 Capri Sons. And I got one pack of the Beef Franks, the Ballpark Beef Franks. Um, it's football season, and they're just really easy for the kids um, whenever we can't really agree on food. So we got Ballpark Franks. I wanted some steak and shrimp, so I'm not going to use all the shrimp for the gumbo, I don't think. I might have to just buy more shrimp. But don't mind Jackson, he just walked in. So if he gets loud, it's him. I got these steaks, Members Mark Steaks. Um, as you can see, these were $16.55, and these look a lot better than the steaks that I saw at Walmart, so I'm excited hey. about that. Jackson. Hey. <laughs> Bad football game. Bad. Hey. Bad football game. Bad football game.
Yeah. Aaron's on the next side. Um, then I got a pack of the Hillshire Farm Poa Sausage. That'll be for the gumbo today. I got a large bag of, Jackson, you're loud. I got a large bag of the On The Border um, Mexican Grill and Cantina chips. I usually get the On The Border chips, but it's the original, the red kind, or cafe style. It's the cafe style bag, which is four ounces more than these Cantina things. So I just went ahead and got these, because we usually, lately we've been barely finishing a whole bag of the cafe style. Last month we got the, well usually every month I get chicken tenderloins. Um, I usually get fresh, but last haul, remember you guys that the fresh ones were literally gray, so I got the frozen, and we have quite a few of the frozen tenderloins left, and I have one or two, excuse me, one or two packs of the fresh from a previous month left. Go ahead and go back to it, my roots a little bit. So I just got one of the 6.5 pound bags of boneless, skinless chicken breast instead of the tenderloin. I got a bag of the um, first and second chicken wings and these are both Tyson's and this one is 10 pounds of chicken wings So this should do us good for the next all this meat that I've gotten um, It should do us good for the next month and a half honestly because this month like I said We got away with having some a little bit of meat left over from last month and I didn't have to get as much meat I just had to get a lot of canned good items this month. So between all this meat that I just got the meat we had left over, we should be good for a while, so. What is it? It's Carmex. Oh, you got Carmex on? Yeah. Oh. So that's it. That was my Sam's haul. Um, again, this is my tablescape. Didn't mean to do that, but these flowers have a sweet story. Now that we're looking at the tablescape, these are from Jackson's baby shower. He'll be three years old this December 2nd, and these purple and orange flowers are from his shower and these purple and yellow ones are from his shower.